Hello, I am Jeronimo Farré. This is the first of a series of videos on acute ST segment elevated myocardial infarction prepared by Professor Hein Wellens and myself for ECG Corner. The European Society of Cardiology, the American College of Cardiology Federation, the American Heart Association, and the World Heart Federation require for the diagnosis of STEMI, the presence of a new ST segment elevation measured at the J point in two or more contiguous leads of a magnitude that has to be two millimeters or more in males uh, or 1.5 millimeters or more in females for leads V2 or V3 and uh, of uh, one millimeter or more for the remaining precordial leads or for the extremity leads. Most of the times when there is a total occlusion of an epicardial coronary artery, we appreciate in the electrocardiogram the presence of an ST segment elevation and the leads exploring the ischemic myocardium. Thus, in an occlusion of a left anterior descending coronary artery, we appreciate an ST segment elevation from V1 to V4 and also in lead A1 and uh, lead AVL. With a reciprocal ST segment depression in leads 2, A3 in the AVF and also in lead uh, V6. STEMI is the result of an acute occlusion of an epicardial coronary artery. The question is do all occlusions of epicardial coronary artery segments result in the electrocardiographic pattern of ST elevated myocardial infarction? The answer is no. Thus, there are acute coronary occlusions resulting in atypical ECG patterns without ST segment elevation. The most uh, common one is the occlusion of a left circumflex coronary artery leading to ST segment depression in two or more precordial leads from V1 to V4. These changes are uh, frequently accompanied by the presence of a broad R wave of 40 milliseconds or more in duration in leads V1 or V2 with an R to S ratio equal to or more than 1 and the positive uh, T waves. The second condition is a left main coronary artery occlusion manifested by a multi lead ST segment depression with ST elevation in lead AVR. Finally, very rarely, a proximal left anterior descending coronary artery occlusion may result in ST segment depression with peaked positive T waves from V1 to V4, sometimes extending up to V6, and the ST segment elevation in lead AVR. This is an example of a complete occlusion of an epicardial coronary artery not uh, resulting in ST segment elevation. The electrocardiogram is from an 88-year-old male arriving in the emergency room two and a half hours after the onset of an acute chest pain not relieved by nitroglycerin. As you can see, there is no ST segment elevation in this electrocardiogram, but an ST segment depression from V1 to V5 plus a tall and the broad R wave in lead V2 with an R to S ratio greater than 1. This R wave and the ST segment depression in lead V2 uh, are the mirror image of a wide and deep Q wave and an ST segment elevation in an opposite posterior lead. The patient was subjected to an urgent coronary arteriogram that demonstrated a right coronary artery system without a severe stenosis and then occlusion of the obtuse marginal branch of the left circumflex coronary artery. 
Identification of these patients is crucial. They need the same treatment as those with STEMI exhibiting ST segment elevation. We are developing essays and lectures in ECG corner and acute coronary syndromes. Go and review them. We have also prepared additional videos to teach uh, how to localize the site of coronary artery occlusion in STEMI. Thank you for your attention.